All right, this is the May 6 meeting of the Conway uh, Board of Selectmen. Uh, we're being videotaped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later by our residents and the public. First item on the agenda, minutes for April 29th. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Yes, yes. Any changes? Fine. No. No, they no? were good. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for uh, April 29th. I'll yeah. second it. I have a second. All, All in right. favor? Yes. Okay. Uh, meetings attended by select board members. Phil? Uh, it's all a blur now. <laughs> uh, oh, we had a negotiating session, a brief half an hour negotiating session for the uh, union personnel negotiations. Resume again this Thursday after the one month break for our lawyer to have twins. Okay. So, okay. Back to work. Okay. Anything else? No. No. Bob? So I had two meetings. I went to one was we had a sort of a, a, a rivers mapping, floodplain mapping meeting down at, uh, uh, actually it was in the Deerfield Highway Department. If you want to go see a, an unbelievable town garage, you can go visit the Deerfield town garage. You could, I could move my whole house in there and it would be cleaner than my house. It was, and newer by a lot. Uh, it was a beautiful structure. Um, and the nice thing about the meeting was the, the morning was all spent looking at maps and reading topographical maps and then and then looking at how you would decide where flooding might occur. And the second half was a field trip. And for the field trip, we all came to Conway. And we drove around to various Conway sites. And, uh, and Conway was looking especially beautiful, I thought, that day. And everybody <laughs> admired a lot of... Uh, a lot of Conway, so it was, it was fun it was a showing it sponsored meeting? It was sponsored by the Franklin Conservation District. Oh. So I, it, you know, so it was the kind of meeting that might be sponsored by FERCOG, but no, it was not. Oh, okay. Because uh, I know Kimberly's been doing the... Kimberly was there. River Corridor mapping. Yes, mm -hmm. she, she was there um, attending it, but, but she wasn't running it. And then... On Saturday morning, oh yeah, 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 Phil and that I too. <laughs> add that one to the list. Went to the uh, the garage committee meeting, uh, sort of a practice run through public meeting uh, down here in, down here at town hall, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was sort of a preparatory meeting, getting ready for today, and then getting ready for town meeting. So. Good, some good okay. comments though. Yeah, my All two right. meetings. And good. people gradually straggled in. Okay, I didn't have any meetings last week. Oh. Okay, public comments. I don't see any public comments, so we'll go on to old business. Tom, what do you have? Uh, nothing for town meeting. Nothing for town meeting. Okay, we'll go on to new business. Uh, okay, first item on new business is to appoint Grace Larson to the Conservation Commission. We have a, uh, a note from the uh, Conservation Committee, should be commission, on uh, April 23rd, they unanimously approved a motion to recommend Grace Larson to join the commission as a full member. Uh, and they're asking us to approve uh, Grace's appointment to the commission. Grace, do you have uh, any, any words of wisdom well, for us? Um, obviously, it was difficult coming into meetings where you really know nothing, and that's not my forte. I, I like to be knowledgeable about everything I do, especially if I'm going to invest my time and energy, I need to know. So I've been on to four or five, four, maybe four meetings, I've been on five site visits, and one of, one of them was a repeat. And so to familiarize myself, I download from the internet the core maps, mm -hmm. um, the critical landscapes in Conway, just to familiarize myself with what I should be at least aware of. And then um, I've also downloaded the um, endangered species from the Mass website for invertebrates, vertebrates, and plants. They don't provide a lot of uh, pictures, but you know I did do that. Mm -hmm. And then I went to um, one of the Mass uh, Audubon sites and whatnot, and tried to figure out okay, there are salamanders that are uh, on the endangered list, so at least I can visually see what they are, uh, and maybe everybody else on the council or commission knows it, I don't. So I'm trying to inform myself so I can be up and running mm -hmm. with the rest of them. And on a couple of trips I noticed that um, 
Bruton had given out a list of 10 things that should be on a um, NOI type of report, and I noticed that nobody was taking pictures. So on the last two mm. that I did with Bruton, I took pictures, which I mm. did send to him on these two uh, solar requests. They happen to be very dry territory. Uh, there's no wetlands in it, but I said, for those that didn't come, it's nice to know what, what it does involve, and it's part of the file that should be complete the file. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And then on the last time we went to do a revisit on Shelburne Falls Road, and again we were looking at uh, what the contractors were doing in terms of the silt fences and the waddles, and so I made copies of those too, which for those that weren't there, it might be helpful to see exactly what is expected of your contractors in this part. They were doing a very decent job. Um, it's a very complicated site with a lot of wetland in it. Um, but I, I felt this is important that we have that as a follow-up to say this is what's happening. Um, and it, it advises me and lets me learn what it is that contractors do and description <coughs> of the different types of things. I'm learning the lingo and trying to make sure that I'm up and running with the rest of the, the team. And so at this point, yes, I feel more comfortable about what I know. Um, I'm really willing to step into the position and be as helpful and as honest as I can. I like to make sure I know what I know and not just what I think I know. Mm -hmm. To me, that's an important part of anything. And accountability for everything that we do. That's part of what they do because you're responsible not just to Conway but to um, the state. Sure. Yeah. So. Does that's anybody have fine. any questions that's, that's about that? I haven't met you. I'm Phil Cantor. I've seen um, you on the road. Thank oh, you. Nice to meet you um, but uh, I'm, 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 I'm impressed with your approach to your service and uh, grateful for it. So mm -hmm. thanks. Well, I like to be thorough about what I do. Mm -hmm. I keep good records. I give you 150% when I do work. That's great. Mm -hmm. More than I used, used to do, but uh, you know, it's... And if I this committee works out really well, there's vacancies, several vacancies in other committees, too. <laughs> so, so, I keep all options open. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, well, thank, thank you for wanting to be involved, because this is a very important committee, and, and certainly they've been struggling for a while to get uh, to get new members on. Well, so I know there's, there are new members, and I just want to make sure I'm at least up to that level that they are, so I can be a contributing person. That's, that's great. Bruton is busy training. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's for sure. Well, delegating has to delegate some of the things out, and that's yes, the way you should. Any other questions for Grace? All right, I'll make a motion that we approve uh, Good Grace recruit. Good recruit. To be well appointed done. to the Conservation Commission for a term ending um, 6 30 of 2020. Thank you. Do Second. I have a second? Yes. All in yes. favor? Yes. 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 Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome, you. Grace. Keep Thank all, you very keep much. Keep all options open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terrific. I am up. And thank, thank you for coming in. You're very welcome. Thank you for the opportunity to meet all of you. So, but thank, thank you much. About 7 o'clock tonight, we'll all be up at the grammar school if you want to get a preview of town meeting. Yeah. I Kinder, I, gentler version of it. Yeah. With I, dessert. I have a pottery class. Oh. That I'm missing. <laughs> Tom, would you uh, bring in the, uh, the okay. chef? Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Grace. Hello. Hey, do you want this? I'm Bob Armstrong. Phil Kanzer. Hi. Hi. Please have a seat, Cal. This is my sister, Callie. Uh, there's another seat over here. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to hear about your your fire. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Condolences. That's, that's terrible. <coughs> You know what we'd, we'd like to do, um, okay. You're, are you a veteran? No. No, okay. Because veterans, um, veterans services has some, has some help for veterans. Too. Absolutely. So, okay. Um, where are you in the process of, let's see, the building inspector basically said, okay, you can't get back in the house until it's repaired and you have electric. Well, so can't live in the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. how 
are you anywhere along on that? Yeah, a little, a little bit. Um, I don't. I'm looking for a, a electrical contractor to give me a temporary power, and I don't have a price yet. He's coming this week. Um, I got prices of, of a dumpster I'll need to get rid of smoked out things, and um, I'd really like some on-site housing if possible. I'm worried about theft and uh, with the temporary power, uh, I got the, the cheapest um, trailer prices I could find, closest and cheapest trailer prices that's not a tent. Mm -hmm. If that's something we could do or look at or okay what we're going to do uh what i, what I want to do is get our uh, town council to look into exactly what we can do for you uh, and we're going to do that we're going to call him tomorrow have him go over uh what your requests have been uh and have him give us an opinion uh and get you you know some help as soon as we possibly can that'd be great thank you okay um, i i uh won't need the generator anymore if I'm going to get uh, temporary electrical power. I won't need that for the sump pump. So that would, that would be like a building lot then? I mean, people often have temporary power coming in yes. to a site. Yeah. Is the town able to provide some services to you to help you out at all? Is um, that what you're talking about, the generator or the sump pump? Yeah. So, I mean, <coughs> I'm well, particularly sensitive. This might Right when I started dating my wife, her family home burned down. Oh, wow. And they still deal with it. It's still the main topic of conversation whenever you get. And it just has such an impact. Yeah. And I mean, if there's, I don't know. I, I tried, when I saw your letter, I tried to look and I was kind of amazed that there wasn't any one central clearinghouse and any relevant website that says this is the list of services that are available to somebody in need. Mm -hmm. and, I, and the way that the task ahead of us to sort of Collate yeah. and collect this kind of information. That, yeah, that's exactly, it's, it shouldn't be that that's way. That's exactly why I want I want the Jack's opinion and his you know his input on this. Um, has the Red Cross been helping you? Jack Lockhead. Yeah, no, no, no. Jack Jack uh, Fitzgibbon, our, our oh. town council, has Red, Red Cross been helping you? On um, yeah, they helped me a little bit. Okay. Yep. All right. Any any other questions for Mr. Lashevsky? Yeah. We, we went through some of this when the tornado went through, and but there was real restrictions on what the town could yeah could do. Yeah, I lost a lot of barn roofing, and you know yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I can probably fix that, but my body has gotten worse, and I think it was too late by the time I applied for the tornado help. Okay. I mean, we um, supposedly live in a state with more programs to help more citizens in needs than any other state in our union. Really? But um, I tried to look to see where there's one spot that yep. tells you what they are, and yeah. I couldn't find it. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not the best maybe that's out there. Maybe, I mean, I, I, would, I would sit down on the Internet and start looking to see what the programs are. And it's looking from county sites, state sites. I would call the state, our state rep. Yes. Um, Natalie Blaze, our state um, <coughs> senator, mm -hmm. um, Adam Hines, and because uh, they have the ability to direct state services, and they have bigger checkbooks than town services. Um, so I, I yep. And, and and I wish I knew. I, I I was like I can't believe I got nothing useful to tell the guy, but because um, I should we should be able to tell you more than what we're telling you. How, well, it, how, it is how, the Red Cross that is yeah, the, how, the go to. How soon are you for getting power in the house? Do you know? Um, the contractor's looking at it this week, and it shouldn't take that long. I met with the power company yesterday. Okay. And right. it won't be a problem for them to hook right up once the contractor does his work. Okay. I already have a pole that he can use. Okay. So All right. That's a big plus. So, so your, your panel in the basement got got destroyed. Yeah. So as, as soon as you get electric, then other things can happen. But I guess electric is first. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna, Tom, we're gonna contact Jack tomorrow. Uh, please send him a copy of both um, the letter from Jim Hawkins and Mr. Leshevsky's letter. And let's get an opinion on him as to how, what we can do and how fast we can do it. Okay. I spoke with um, STI services in Asheville, and then uh, they're going to come look at the place too. 
Now, what does SPI laws. do? Uh, construction. Okay. And they're the ones with the dumpster, also. Okay. What? What? You had smoke damage throughout the whole house. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's permeated through the whole house, but more of the bedroom and above the bedroom upstairs and uh, living room took it pretty hard. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions for Miss Lashesky? Keep, no. keep writing letters, keep, squeaky wheel gets the oil in this stuff, so keep, keep at it, keep after it. All right, it. so we will, we will get with our, our town council and um, hopefully we will have something shortly. We'll by, get, next, by next week. By next week, we'll yeah. Blame for um, that. Yeah, let's, let's make sure Jack, you know, this is a priority for him, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll be back in touch with you as, as soon so as much. we possibly can. Thank you. All right. Yep. Okay. Good. Anything else? Just Lashesky. So sorry. sorry again. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm yeah. my sister. Hi. My sister. I'm Philip. Hi. Hi. Nice Allie. Nice Good, Good seeing you. Good, Good to see you. Thank you for sorry. coming in. Uh, I'm her husband. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're housing Gary. Oh, that's great. But, um... Go shop in between friends and family. Yeah. He's not thrilled with the situation. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So if he could get on-site housing, especially he's so worried about his tools being mm -hmm. stolen because, and the house, when it's open, airing out. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's important. Yeah. yeah. Everything's it's important. Still in there. It, is that okay. lockable? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Oh, Ron, you're up. Chapter 90, request for Hoosack Road repaving. Okay. I just drove down it. It seemed pretty well repaved already. There's no, no it's just there. milled. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Didn't build off. Well, yeah, I know. I've driven on like, boy, I was going to say, why don't we just leave it that way? <laughs> yeah. Well, some I don't think you're, I don't think the residents would be happy. Some about residents that, want it that way. Others don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, basically, this is the request for Chapter 90 money for. We're going to regrind it again. We actually we want to put down about three inches of inch and a half crushed stone, grind that into the base, hmm. and then pave over it. So, okay. and the total was, let me change the form, $175,376. How long, how long we got here? How oh, what? How many miles? Length, uh, uh, 60. 62, 50 feet, huh? Okay, so a little, a little over a mile. mile. Yep. Mm. Okay. That's the price for, for a little over a mile. Wow. I wonder why so few roads get beat up. <laughs> Cow. And that's probably a good price too, compared to what the state would pay for it. Uh -huh. Well, we also only putting, <coughs> excuse me, two and a half inches down. I mean, normally um, you do the two and a half inches, and then you do another inch and a half on top. We don't have the money to fix the road, so we're just putting the binder course down, and then hopefully in four or five years we'll top it. Mm -hmm. um, and is that two and a half or? Two and a half. Yeah. Okay. And this was the one that the, that a resident had written in, worried about the trees on it, and and worried yeah, about the cut a bunch of trees down. Yeah, he, he, bunch of he cut it right. with a lot yeah. of people. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was just wondering. He did, he did great outreach. Yeah, oh, I was waiting down. for him to say <clears> these <throat> things. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying as as an employee of the town of Conway. He has gone above and beyond. I, I, see, I'm you. setting the whole thing up to give you the chance oh, okay. to say that. Okay, so oh, no. tell us how you went above and beyond the call of duty. You already did. No, I didn't. I just said you did. How'd you do it? Well, we met with every resident that we cut trees on off their property because the property, even though the road, the town doesn't own the trees or anything, it's the residents. We do have the right to remove them when we do work, but or when it's a public safety thing. Mm -hmm. so how much wider is the road <clears throat> going to be? Is it, is it's going to be a 20 foot wide road when we're done. I mean, it was mostly 20 foot in a lot of places, mm -hmm. but there was a lot of places where... A couple where, spots. Yeah. 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 Well, more than a couple, but there was yeah. quite a bit. I mean, you couldn't meet 
a car in a lot of places, especially the school bus and stuff. And yeah, yeah. That's been my whole thing with the residents, why we're widening it to the 20, or, you know, maintaining the 20 foot width. Yeah. Um, Any other questions for me? <clears throat> no. Okay. You're um, actually leaving one tree, right? Yes. It, it, somebody didn't want to take it. It was questionable. I mean, I'd rather it had been gone just mm -hmm. in the future, but, you know, you got to work with them. And, yeah, yeah, there's some give and take. Good. Okay. okay. Um, and what do you have to do? Uh, just other, the conservation, that, well, not the conservation, just I need your signatures on that form, too. Okay. Something new, I guess. So. How many signatures do you need on this? Just mine? No, I, all, all three. three yeah. Okay, and all three on this? Yeah, yeah okay. that'd be great. All right, I'll make a motion that we approve the request by our highway supervisor for Chapter 90 funds to, um, uh, what are we doing? We are repaving uh, Hussack Road for 6,250 feet in length. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Okay. So after the garage is finished, then you'll get back and do the top course, is that it? Well, actually, what I've been doing is just the base courses to get some of our roads straightened out. So yeah. I'm, the plan, hopefully, well, we're hopefully going to do Waitley Road, this end of Waitley Road, in the next spring. And then the following year, go back to Poland and top 10 roads out there. The Poland so think we should area do it is down pretty here. much all yeah. paved now. So. so you get the top course on, you know, over the next. Eight years? I guess. Two to four years. Right. I made it small. Well, some of Poland's been done. Okay. Um, yeah. Three years now. So by the time we get to it, it's going to be close to five by the time it's. Okay. More room on that one. Yeah, I don't know. The, the way the forms are, <laughs> they want all these signatures. They, they do an extra line or something like whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. This is planned on being paved. Everything, well, the pavement now done by the end of June. That's all them prices that we're working off of is off the uh, fiscal year 19 budget. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? So this has concom aspects as well, because that's why not. Great. Thank you, Ron. Oh. <laughs> Thank you much. Um, hope to see you down the see you tonight. Yeah. Meeting there in a little while. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Next item on the agenda is. Uh, we have the FERCOGS Regional Pollination Carter Project, and we're basically sending a letter of support for that project. Uh, you're very interested yeah. in that. Yes. Yeah. The bees. We need but, more bees. So well, I'm more than that, but, but yes. We, the, we, the thing that struck me about this is that this is these corridors are based on the science that's developed by this one fella, um, the UMA, uh, UMass Dartmouth professor. I He's the one working with FERCOG, I think. And he's coming uh, the day after town meeting. He's speaking at the Historical Society. Oh, and good. you'll be able to run our, if he hasn't seen them already, we'll at least be able to ask actual questions yeah. about what we're actually doing that's in coordination with that. And then he's doing a field walk um, the following weekend. Great. But I thought, I thought that was a pretty timely guest speaker. You know his name? You know his name? Yeah. I, uh, Greenfield has been doing a big pollinator project yeah. also, yeah, and we'll probably, probably be connecting sure. with them. Yeah. Well, it's the, the whole the whole car, yeah. I think, the, all of Franklin County. So um, Sullivan, Tom Sullivan? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, got, he's the guy in Northampton. He's a bee guy. Yeah. Got the got the reminder card right in my refrigerator. I've been looking at that name for like a week now. Mm -hmm. It's embarrassing. Uh, all right, I'll make a motion that we sign this letter in support of the FERCOGS Regional Pollinator Corridor Project. Do I have a second? Yeah. Second. All in favor? Yes. All right. Phil beat you out on That's second. okay. That's all right. Yes. We're all there. Tom, do we have any items not anticipated 48 hours in advance? 
I do not. Okay, do we have an update? I do not. Okay. <laughs> do we have select That's board? First. Do we have select board comments? No. I do not. Mail. <laughs> we got our uh, oh, beacons. Yeah. We got our beacons, beacons in the yeah. mail. Beacons okay. are it. Announcements. We just have a uh, pre-town meeting at 7 p.m. tonight in the school, uh, the Conway Grammar School cafeteria. There's no more uh, business to come before the board. I will make a motion to adjourn. Our next meeting will be the 13th um, here in the town office at 6 p.m. and the town meetings at 7:30. And uh, that the there will be a joint. Uh, finance committee presence here as well for that because of the uh, need to move some money um, next week but it's yeah. gonna be a very short agenda sure. oh yeah very short oh yeah okay good oh, yeah. all right do I have a second on that motion to adjourn sure okay <laughs> thank you gentlemen aye aye, aye.